Sri Lankan President Ranil Vikramasinghe called on Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi at the Hyderabad House in New Delhi, India. Following bilateral discussions, both sides agreed to further develop Trincomalee as a national and regional hub of industry, energy and economic activity on the basis of mutual understanding. The relevant documents were exchanged in the presence of Prime Minister Modi and President Vikram Singh. We have the exchange of Memorandum of Cooperation for Economic Development of Projects in the Trincomalee district of Sri Lanka. From the Sri Lankan side, the High Commissioner of Sri Lanka to India and from the Indian side, Sri Gopal Bagle, High Commissioner of India to Sri Lanka, please. As per the Indian-Sri Lanka Economic Partnership vision, both countries have agreed to further develop Trincomalee as a national and regional hub of industry, energy and economic activity on the basis of mutual understanding. In addition, Sri Lanka and India have agreed to cooperate for construction of a multi-product petroleum pipeline from the southern part of India to Sri Lanka and mutually agreed to undertake a joint exploration and production of hydrocarbons in Sri Lanka's offshore basins. Furthermore, both sides agreed to establish land connectivity between Sri Lanka and India for developing land access to the ports of Trincomalee and Colombo and a feasibility study for such connectivity will be conducted at an early date. We have decided that the work of connecting the electricity grids between the two countries will be carried forward rapidly. Between India and Sri Lanka, a feasibility study will be done for a petroleum pipeline. Apart from this, the feasibility of a land bridge will also be examined. The development of Trincomalee as an energy hub with the support of India is a crucial step towards Sri Lanka's goal to evaluate Trincomalee as a hub for industry and other economic activities. Prime Minister Modi and I believe that the construction of a multi-project petroleum pipeline from southern part of India to Sri Lanka will ensure an affordable and reliable supply of energy resources to Sri Lanka. India and Sri Lanka on Friday signed an agreement over the acceptance of Unified Payments Interface technology in the island country. The Unified Payments Interface or the UPI is an interface via which you can transfer money between bank accounts across a single window. UPI is a brainchild of the National Payments Corporation of India, also known as NPCI, the umbrella organization that oversees retail payment systems in India. UPI is currently being used by around seven countries in the world. Sri Lanka and India also issued a joint declaration of intent in the field of animal husbandry between India and Sri Lanka and also exchanged the energy permit for the Sampur Solar Power Project handed over to Sri Lanka. Our relations are as ancient as our civilizations and are widespread. Sri Lanka also has an important place in both India's neighborhood first policy and Saga vision. Today we shared our views on bilateral, regional and international issues. We believe that the security interests and development of India and Sri Lanka are intertwined. Today we have adopted a vision document for our economic partnership. The vision is to strengthen maritime, air, energy and people-to-people -people connectivity between the people of both countries. This is the vision of accelerating mutual cooperation in tourism, power, trade, higher education and skill development. This is the vision of India's long-term commitment to Sri Lanka. Long-term commitment. We believe that India's growth will be beneficial to the neighborhood and the Indian Ocean region. I have also appraised Prime Minister Modi of the extraordinary challenges that Sri Lanka has experienced in economic, social and political terms in the past year and of the reform measures I have spearheaded on a number of fronts in overcoming these challenges. In reviewing recent developments in Sri Lanka, I shared with Prime Minister Modi my commitment to bring about economic recovery leading to sustainable and stable growth with justice and equity which will benefit all segments of Sri Lankan society in all parts of the country. The Indian Prime Minister also expressed his hope for Sri Lanka's commitment to the 13th Constitutional Amendment. We also talked about reconstruction and reconciliation in Sri Lanka. President Vikramasinghe told me about his inclusive approach. We hope that the Sri Lankan government will fulfill the aspirations of the Tamils. It will carry forward the process of reconstruction for equality, justice and peace. It will fulfill its commitments to implement the 13th Amendment and hold provincial council elections and the Tamil community of Sri Lanka to live with respect and dignity. 
I also shared with him the comprehensive proposal I presented this week for furthering reconciliation, power sharing through devolution and the multiple elements of the Northern Development Plan. I have invited all party leaders in Parliament to work towards consensus and national unity on these measures. Thereafter, the government will place relevant legislation before Parliament.